Welcome to Lecture Online, and now let's take a look at what we call the planet inclination of the equator to the orbit of the planet. Now, what we call the tilt is exactly that. It's the way the planet is tilted as it rotates on its axis. For example, I have a globe right here. This is a good representative of, uh, of the Earth right here. There's the Earth. Notice as the Earth goes around the sun like this, along its ecliptic plane, the axis about which the Earth rotates, it's tilted relative to the vertical. So that angle right here for the Earth is 23 and a half degrees. And so that would be called the tilt of the Earth. That's how we say it. And it's basically the, the, the angle between the vertical, the perpendicular to the ecliptic plane, and the axis of rotation of the Earth. Now, the way we explain it here is if we take the equatorial plane and we compare it, the tilt of that relative to the orbital plane, that will also be a 23 and a half degree difference. So you can see here's the ecliptic plane, I mean the orbital, the uh, equator plane, the equatorial plane as we call it, and then as the Earth goes around the sun, that's then called the ecliptic plane, and it's the angle between those two that makes up that tilt of the Earth. So how does that compare to the other planets in the solar system? Well, for Mercury, there's virtually no tilt. Mercury's axis is almost exactly parallel to the perpendicular to its orbit. As you can see, that the tilt is only 0.5 degrees, so it's basically almost not tilting at all. Venus, on the other hand, is a tilt of 177.4 degrees, so basically Venus is upside down. Something must have happened in the long history, in its long history, where some large object must have hit that caused Venus to turn around. So basically, Venus rotates on its axis in the opposite direction from the other planets, like the Earth, Venus, and uh, Earth, Mars, and Mercury. And so, therefore, we call that rotation retrograde rotation. Really, what it is, it, the planet didn't stop, slow down, and slow down, and stop, and start turning the other direction. It simply got rotated upside down. So you can see that it's almost basically on its head. The tilt of the Earth, 23 and a half degrees. Mars has a tilt a little bit greater than that, about 25.2 degrees. Now, how does that compare to the gas planets? Well, Jupiter, just like Mars, has a very small tilt, 3 degrees. Saturn is much more in line with Earth and Mars at 26.7 degrees. And Uranus, just like Venus, has a very strange tilt. It's past 90 degrees, 97, almost 98 degrees. So technically, Uranus is also upside down, and it has a what we call retrograde orbital spin. And then we have, or yeah, oh, I should say rotational spin instead of orbital spin, so it has a retrograde rotational spin. And Neptune, again, falls in line with, Jupiter, uh, with Saturn, Mars, and the Earth at about 29.5, almost 30, degree, uh, 30 degrees. Now take a look at Pluto. Pluto has an orbital, um, I should say, has a uh, rotational inclination, a rotational tilt of 117 degrees, which also technically causes the rotate opposite direction, and so there's retrograde rotation for Pluto as well. See, there's a lot of variation in the orbital tilt, in the inclination of the equator relative to the, to the orbit of the planets. We surmise that when they're very much out of line, like Uranus and Venus, they must have had some cataclysmic, cataclysmic event early in its history that caused the planets to turn around and have that strange actual tilt. We otherwise don't really have an explanation for it. But you can see that for most planets, they have a, a slight to a, ver to a variable or a varying degree of tilt, but all in relative the same direction. And so that seems to be kind of normal. We don't know exactly what caused those variations in the tilts, although when it's very drastic, like for Venus and Uranus, it's probably had a cataclysmic event attached to it. So that gives you a pretty good look at what the various inclination of the equator is relative to the orbit, and that's how we understand our solar system just a little bit better.